Good, Good morning, morning Servite. Servite. I'm Dane Madrigal. And I'm Chad Hassett. And this, this is Servite, Servite TV Season 5. Don't forget, Servi, today is the first speech and debate meeting in room 502. And don't forget, Academic Decathlon is always looking for new members. The Red Cross Club will also be have a meeting today, a meeting today, in Mr. Swoboda's classroom at lunch. Uh, robotics meets in the Robotics House every Tuesday and Wednesday from 3 to 8 p.m. I'm going to send it off to Servite Sports. <laughs> Hi, Matthew Krager here with your sports for the 2015-2016 school year. This Friday, we have a football game at Cerritos against Fountain Valley High School. Freshman attendance is mandatory. Be there. And now we're sending it off to... Hello, my name is... Excuse me! My name is... Can I have the attention of the class? For one second. My name is... Hello, my name is Ms. Crawford Dixon. Most of you know me as Senora or Madame, and I love being here. It's been a wonderful week. And just a shout out to my French and my Spanish students. Sauté une fois, salte una vez, and go Irish. And now Trinity Corporation. I'm Luke Ritty. I'm a financial aid intern. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, well first of all, I'm Josh Mora, HR manager. Good time to see you. Well, first things first, since you're a financial aid intern, you have to finish 40 hours. What happens if I don't do my 40 hours? Well, since you're an underclassman, you'd have to finish your 40 hours over the summer. Otherwise, your financial aid might be revoked for the following school year. Uh, hi, I'm Luke's dad. I was wondering how many hours I can work as a parent. Oh, I can answer that for you. Parents are only allowed to work 20 hours, and in order to work, they have to contact Mrs. Valerie Creole right here. Once I sign up on volunteer spot, where do I go to work? So, in order for you to start working, you have to come in here. You're going to grab a brand new time card. Fill it out with your name at the top. Come over here. You're going to clock in, it'll show the time that you signed up, you're going to come back over here, place it in the slot, and we'll direct you on where to go. So if you don't show up for the job you signed up for, you'll be placed on job hold. Job hold is you have to make up the hours you signed up for on top of the 40 you already have to work. In order for you to sign up and work again, you have to schedule an appointment to come in with any of the managers and after our meeting, you will be able to work. That sounds good, but why would you at the end of the month withhold my hours? I can answer the question for you. Well, at the end of the month, the time card should look similar to this. You should have punched in here. You should have the number of hours in which you work, your first and last name, the month on the top of the right-hand corner, and it's just sign and total your hours. But yeah, by the end of the month, then you have a two day window after the end of the month to get it done. How do I know how many hours I have? My hours are posted in three places. I'll show you the first place. It's over here. There's the time box office. Posted right here. And they're also posted on the student portal, which you can find on the Survive website. Well, this has been a very informative day. I used to be a hopeless intern, but I'm a student ready to work. I'll see you on campus.
like to give an official shout out to Adam Maldonado. Um, additional shout outs go to the Activities Committee, Red Cross Club, Campus Worship Band, aka the Prodigal Son, and uh, Senora Gibbs. Also, shout outs to the Servite Theater, our fearless leader and legend, Brandon Martinez, along with uh, amazing prior, uh, Nicholas J. Crossan. And I want to say also that if you would like to be an anchor on Servite TV too, just visit the student portal. I am Chad Hassett. And I'm Dane Madrigal. And this, and this is, is Servite TV. TV.